In Gaza, Israel has continued its relentless bombardment of the Strip. In the latest attack, an Israeli strike hit a car as it sat outside a health clinic in the west of Gaza City. Several people were killed. At least 40,738 Palestinians have been killed in Israeli attacks on Gaza since October last year. Well, children in central Gaza are being vaccinated against the polio virus for a second day. The vaccines are being given in the Deir al-Bala and al-Zawaida refugee camps. The campaign there will last until Wednesday. It will then move into the northern and southern areas of the Strip. The UN is hoping to immunise 640,000 children under the age of 10. Tarek Abu Zoom joins us now from Deir al-Bala. Uh, so, uh, Tarek, the Israelis had talked about humanitarian corridors, about localised pauses in the fighting to allow this vaccination drive to continue. Um, how has it all been affected by ongoing Israeli airstrikes, though? Well, Neva, I can barely hear your question as the Israeli drones are still hovering for more than three hours till now in the vicinity of Al-Aqsa Hospital, which is one of the main and main and key uh, centers that is responsible for providing vaccination for Palestinian children. Now, the Israeli military uh, claim that they are uh, having some sorts of humanitarian poses, but the statistics, the statistics released by the Gaza's health ministry showed that 48 Palestinians have been killed within the past 24 hours. And this shows right now is the greatest terrifying source of frustration for Gaza's children who are right now having this vaccination and hope that it can be medically secured, but not going to be secured on the security level because bombardment is unfolding them in every corner in the north, in the central area, and in the south of the Strip. Now, we know that today is the second day for the vaccination campaign in Deir al-Balah, where more than 72,000 Palestinians have been receiving these vaccinations in the first day of the campaign, and it's expected that more numbers of Palestinian children will take these vaccinations uh, within the coming two days. Then later, the campaign will extend to the city of Khan Yunus, then to the north of the territory. But people here in Deir al-Balah are so afraid and terrified from the fact that as soon as this campaign is going to end here, it means that the, uh, the momentum of the Israeli strikes will increase more and more as these drones, especially at night, do not leave the sky of Deir al-Balah. But the campaign that's seen from the Palestinian perspective is very vital and giving some sort of hope for those Palestinian children at least to be protected from one of the deadliest viruses that had been discovered lately in the Gaza Strip and that even it's the first time since 25 years to happen here in the territory. Yeah, Tarek, it is a, a very unnerving sound, isn't it? The sound of that drone hovering above you as the vaccination rollout continues there in Deir al-Bala. Uh, many thanks for that. Tarek Abu Zim there. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.